What's up guys? So this is part two to my Honda Prelude uh, rebuild, I guess. Uh, we're gonna try to bring it back to life. Um, if you guys didn't know or you guys didn't see the first video, this is my Honda Prelude project car. It's a 1993 Honda Prelude. Um, so the story about this, it was sitting at a mechanic shop. Well, it was, it's been sitting here for a couple years. Um, the last time it was registered, it was 2016. Um, I put in a couple things already in this car. Um, the A new thermostat, a uh, new radiator, new radiator fans, uh, new main relay. Uh, what else? A new, um, a new alternator. And in this video, we are going to install this brand new distributor. Uh, because I'm not sure what's going on and why it's not starting but I'm pretty sure whatever the problem is it's probably because of this so instead of just trying to find out what the problem is I just went and bought a brand new one and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today how to install this distributor in the 1993 Honda Prelude so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can get a better look at what I'm talking about so come on all right guys so for this specific engine the distributor is located on the left side and this is what it looks like as you can see mine is a little discolored and it's all dirty but we're about to change that right now all right so before anything you might want to take a picture of how these spark plugs wires uh were were set up i already know how everything is set up so i don't need to do that but you guys might want to take a picture so you guys uh, don't confuse yourself with uh, putting back those wires. Now, what is this? This is a C. Okay. All right. So we have a screw right here in this metal bracket. There's supposed to be a screw. I already took that screw out. So now this is loose. We have three screws that's holding in um, this distributor. Um, before you do anything, you should might want to um, unplug your battery. As you can see, I have no battery, so we're all good. Um, there's three screws, three 12 millimeter screws. Um, you have one right here. You got another one right here. And um, on the bottom somewhere, hopefully I could get a good, a good, um, well, it's, you're gonna need an extension, but it's um, right right there. Right, right there, exactly right there. This screw right here, that's the one you're gonna wanna take out that's in the bottom. Um, three 12 millimeter screws, and then it should be able to come loose. You wanna unclip these first. So basically, that's what I'm gonna do for you guys right now. I'm gonna do all this, but I can't do it all with one hand. So thank God we have video editing because with video editing, we can basically travel to the future in an instant. Um, let me show you. All right, guys. So that's what I like about editing. You could just jump to the future in an instant. But as you guys can see, there is no more distributor here. Um, you might want to clean that out. Well, I'm going to clean that out. But if yours is looking like this, clean it out. You know, make sure it looks all clean and nice. But after you take it out, this is what you want to do next. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I couldn't show you the part of where I took off the cap from the old distributor uh, because I had it sitting on a box that had my address on the box. And obviously, I don't want randoms and weird people to know where I live at. Um, but yeah, so long story short, I had to take off the cap of the distributor to see where um, the rotor was facing. Um, so you basically have to see where that where the rotor, the rotor wheel is facing. Um, so you can place uh, your new distributor rotor wheel in the same exact position because if you don't and you try to put it in the opposite way, um, you could mess up the timing. And um, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. I really wanted to show you guys, uh, but let's get straight into the video. But before we do all that, like I said, I'm gonna give this a nice little cleaning and uh, yeah, let's just jump into the future one more time. All right, guys, so there you go, jumping into the future and it's instantly clean. 
all right so there you go job well done this is the new distributor plugged in i'm gonna throw a battery in here and then i'm gonna go behind the wheel and see if this baby is start up god willing we got our fingers crossed this baby's gonna start up today let's do it all right so we got everything cleaned up uh, sun is almost going away, so I think it's time to fire it up. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll fire up. All right. Hopefully. Come on, babies. All right. It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth, baby. It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. Does the horn work? Hey, horn does work. Okay, all right. Ah, oh, come on, God, come on. Hmm. That was a misfire. It was a misfire. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yo, it's going to start up. Oh, I think that's because I don't have no fucking... I have no exhaust. Legit. I have no exhaust. There's no exhaust. But, yo, that shit is firing loud. What the fuck? Hey, that's something good. That's something good. I'm liking that. Shit, I'd rather it misfire and do that shit than anything. Let's see. One more time, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can smell that. It's knocking, man. I don't know what that is. All right, let me stop. Let me stop it before I fuck it up. Because I don't know what that is. But we out here. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we're going to end the video on that. We got some power. This baby is misfiring. You hear the loud pops. I believe that's what that's what it's called a misfire. But listen, we just we we're getting a step closer. We're getting one step closer to this baby up and running. Stay tuned for the next episode because I think that's when this baby's gonna be drivable.